Welcome to the channel and if you're new round here we are Mark and Debs from the Isle of Man. Join us on our second leg of the journey where we leave a beautiful CL site in Natwich and head south to the Three Magpies in Wiltshire. Which served the best pub food we've had in a long time. This is somewhere we recommend you visit and at £22.50 a night it's a bargain. This includes your electric hook up. Well, you're not going to believe this. Check this out. Debbie is driving us. I'm driving. Down to where we're we going. Devices. We're going down to Devices. I'm not saying I'm doing the whole way. Whoa, Even. hang on a second, you are. No. Well, I said I'd drive, but I didn't say how long for. With Debbie at the wheel getting ever more confident, the winding roads through the countryside led to dual carriageways. Then the dual carriageways led to motorways, and before you know it, she has the confidence to overtake vehicles on the motorway. Covering over 100 miles of driving on UK roads, Debs gets us safely just outside Wiltshire, where it's time to stock up on a few essentials before heading to our next stop, the Three Magpies in Devizes. Let's get some shopping in Asda. Take a walk around with Dad to see if they've got any space for us in the pub. There's your field. We're camped over on the hard standing. Out of the pub, in this way. Soft scoop served here. It's not too bad, is she? She didn't want to come in, but. Yeah. Ruby is a rescue dog from Spain, and this was Ruby's first time in a pub. She was a little hesitant to go in at first, but once in, she did extremely well. And once she knew the food was involved, you couldn't keep her out. Can I get my face in? <laughs> we got a bit carried away customising Ruby to the pub and forgot we'd left Mark doing the jobs. He forgave us though, because they did squeeze us in for evening meal. The meals were fantastic. They have their own pastry chef on site and the pastry was the best pastry I've tasted in a long time. After a well-earned rest from all my driving, we decided, being such a lovely day, we'd take the dogs for a walk along the canal. It's Debbie's first time down the canal. This canal is amazing. The countryside around. I can see for miles. Lock, which I've never seen before. A little bridge. Whoa, made me go a bit funny that. Cheeky little pims. We well, might get a cheeky little pims. On, We're in for Sunday lunch, we can't wait, so we're just getting the dogs exercise so we can put them to bed for a bit. And then we can we'll go and enjoy a nice yeah. Sunday roast in the pub. Put the aircon on for them. Yeah. This is my first time walking on a canal. I've always wanted to do it because it's so pretty, isn't it? I can't believe you've lived this sheltered life where you've never walked down a canal. I want to live on a canal. You'd live on a canal, would yeah. you? I would. Peaceful, wouldn't it? It doesn't get rough, does it? No, no. Because I get seasick. <laughs> anyway, I better pick up the pace. My Pims is calling. We've got miles to go. What a lovely touch this was for the dogs. See, it's not only us that's looking for the pub stops, the dogs managed to find one too. And of course, a walk along the canal wouldn't be complete without a shopping trip. At 
the first store was Sarah's handmade and upcycled hand painted gifts. These would make stunning and unique souvenirs or presents. Andy's lamps, also very unique, stunning pieces of woodwork, and we couldn't resist buying a bespoke coat hook for the van. If you're looking for one-off stunning pieces of incredible art at bargain prices, then check out Andy and Sarah's gifts. They can be found online using the links below and in the description. Or along the canal. Came across this building on the canal. We weren't sure whether it was a World War II bunker. Leave us a comment if you know the answer. Enough of this exploring malarkey. My pims and dinner was calling and I was getting hangry. So we headed back to the pub for a delicious Sunday roast. The staff at the Three Magpies couldn't have been more helpful. They're all really lovely people and went out of their way to fit us in for meals on both days we were there and we will definitely return. Join us for the next leg of the journey by pressing that subscribe button when we head to the back of Beyond Campsite, where all doesn't go exactly to plan. Well, we're here at the back of Beyond and it's all going really well. <laughs> not. <laughs> oh. You two need to behave yourselves. <laughs> I am not with you. <laughs> Can you see? I'm soaked. <laughs> she that drives us to this. Third disaster. The alarm's going off. <laughs>